gravitational potential store. This is the energy store associated with an object's mass and its height above the ground. Now we have an equation for this. Eg, which means energy gravitational, is equal to mg delta h, where m is the mass of the object, g is the gravitational field strength, which is different on different planets, and delta h is the change in height, where delta is change in and h is height. So let's look at how the energy depends on each of these quantities. First of all, the mass. If we have one object that's more massive than another, then that will mean it can have more energy in its gravitational potential store than the other. So we have that mass 1 is smaller than mass 2, and so therefore the energy in the gravitational potential store of mass 1 is less than the energy in the gravitational potential store of mass 2. Next we have g, the gravitational field strength. Now on the left we have the Earth, and on the right we have the Moon. On the Earth, the gravitational field strength is around 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Whereas on the Moon, it is around 1.6 newtons per kilogram. That means, since I have a mass of 65 kilograms on Earth, I will still have a mass of 65 kilograms on the Moon. However, on the Earth, my weight is around 637 newtons, Meanwhile, on the Moon, my weight will be 104 newtons. This means if you're looking for any dramatic weight loss, just go to the Moon. So we have that the gravitational field strength of Earth is greater than the gravitational field strength of the Moon. That means on Earth, the energy in the gravitational potential store will be greater than the energy in the gravitational potential store on the Moon. Finally, we have the height. So we have two people, one is higher above the ground than the other, so we simply have that the one which is higher, person one, is higher than person two, that means the energy in the gravitational potential store of person one will be greater than the energy in the gravitational potential store of person two.